Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson, and we're going to begin Chapter 5 tonight with Lesson 5.1, Solving Systems of Linear Equations by Graphing. The essential question is, how can you solve a system of linear equations? Well, let's first just learn what we're going to figure out tonight. And tonight, you'll be able to check solutions of systems of linear equations, solve systems of linear equations by graphing, and use systems of linear equations to solve real-life problems. But it might be important to know, first of all, what is a system of a linear equation? So a system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations in the same variables. And here's an example of a system. A system just means two or more linear equations. Now again, this is something you want to make sure it's in our journal books. So open your paid, or book journal book to section 5.1. Find the vocabulary page and list these two vocabularies in there. Put the definitions in there, please. Again, the solution of a system of a linear equation in two variables is an ordered pair that is a solution to each equation in the system. And again, as we go through the video, you're going to learn a lot more about what a system is and what the solution is. So the first thing we want to do is determine what a solution is. So a solution to a system of linear equations is an ordered pair that makes both equations true. So it must make both equations true to be a solution. So we're going to more or less check this. So again, remember, an ordered pair is always the x term followed by the y. So we're going to substitute into this first equation. It's 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 7 equals 7, and that checks. So now we'll plug into the second equation, 2 times 2 minus 3 times 5 is equal to a negative 11. So now, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 15. 4 minus 15 is a negative 11 equals a negative 11. Since both equations are true, when we substitute in that ordered pair, then this ordered pair of 2, 5 is a solution. Well, now we're going to check the second system. So this system says that negative 2, 0 is a solution. So let's check that. So again, it's the x followed by the y. So I get 0 is equal to a negative 2 times negative 2 minus 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Minus 4 is 0. And 0 equals 0. And that checks. Second equation. Plug 0 in for y. Plug a negative 2 in for x plus 4. But a negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 2 does not equal 0. Since it does not make the second equation true, this is not a solution. It's not a solution. Okay, so a solution must make both equations true. So if you want to determine if it makes these equations true, go ahead and try it. Um, and we'll determine if they do. And in this case, if we try this system, 2 times 1 plus a negative 2 is 2 plus negative 2 is 0, and 0 equals 0, and that checks. Then I'm going to plug 1 in for x, so the opposite of 1 plus 2 times negative 2 is supposed to equal a positive 5. Negative 1 plus negative 4 is a negative 5, does not equal a positive 5. Since this does not check, that's not a solution. So again, if you plug this one in and try it, go ahead and do that. You want to pause the video for a moment. And I will tell you that this is a yes. If you check it, it does work. That this is a solution. 